Okay, so I wasn't quite happy enough with what I found earlier. So I did end up seeing here, if you look, you can match up these addresses. Basically, all I kept doing was for a little bit of time, I was scanning uh, the values to see if I could track it down and figure out what, what's going on here. So I thought this was really neat. Yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. That's kind of cool. Um, this could definitely make it a lot easier if someone is trying to go in and figure out what's actually happening. Wow, dude, this that's fucking cool, man. Well, shit, dude. If if I knew a little bit more ASM, which I, I need to know. You could go through these opcodes here and probably figure out what the fuck is exactly going on when it generates these. I, I would think so. It, at least you'd be able to know where to go to look. Um, that This could be fucking amazing for anybody that is into reverse engineering. You could certainly quickly pinpoint where exactly it's generating these, uh, these like hashes, if you will. So this could be cool. I, I think it would be really, really fucking awesome if anybody is interested. Well, I I just lost it, but oh well. Anyways, you you get the idea. Um, basically, I, I'm pretty sure all that I did was I went like this, did scan, and then I did this. I don't know. Oh shit! You know what? I just I fucked it up again. Man, I don't know how I fucked that up. So. So generate a few in here and then go search. Hey, you know what? I already see it. It's right fucking here. That's cool. So then you could go ahead and generate some more. And you can see this is the one that's sticking around. So if you went here, you could see see right in here what is going on that's pretty fucking cool man the, the god man i wish that i i wish that i learned more asm I, I think that's what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna start learning more about asm and that way i can go i can go ahead and actually see see exactly what's happening here with these op codes so that way i can jump around and figure out what is exactly being done in terms of like the math behind getting these to look more like they, they do in the SQLite DB. Because if we just straight up exit out of the server now, um, I'm gonna exit it real quick. And then we take the SQLite DB over, browse, go to clients, we'll see. Uh, we'll see this. And cool thing is that we could change this to, I don't know, let's, let's change it to zip. If we change it to zip, that's the client login and we change it to zip. And then we rate changes. Now if we launch the server and we open putty 127.0.0.1. Shit, do I have that old password? Fuck, I don't. But I do know what one password means, so I could always I could always exit the TS3 server process. And then I could close this. And now I'm gonna go ahead and open the SQL SQLite DB browser. And if I go to browse data clients and I change zips password to this and I apply it 
and just write changes, close out of it. And I launch the server. Now, if I connect 10011 telnet open, it's going to let me here. I, I always forget how to log in. So I think it's, yeah, log in. And we'll just say zip and the client login password. The raw one should be this. So who am I? Hey, there you go. Sweet. Okay. So there, there you go. Awesome. I'm, I'm excited. That's great. Whatever. I'm done. Have a good day.